Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are going to make some gluten and dairy free sugar cookies. Um, I don't have cookie cutters to make them Christmassy, but we're gonna just try to like cut it out, be creative. I don't know. We're gonna try it and we're gonna use the recipe from Minimalist Baker. I will link it down below. Hers is vegan, like I said, but um, we're not gonna make them vegan. Ours is vegan, cause um, I don't have, she uses chickpea brine, like aquafaba, aquafaba, I think that's what you call it. And I don't have any um, chickpeas. I don't have a can of chickpeas right now. So we're gonna use eggs instead. Jackson can do eggs now, so it's okay. Especially if they're baked in. Um, so we're gonna do all of the um, we're gonna completely follow all of her instructions. Oh gosh. Um, we're not using almond flour either. I'm just gonna up the gluten-free flour. Um, I don't have any almond flour, so we're just gonna use a bunch of subs and then we'll just see how it turns out. Jackson's napping. I hear him coughing. He'll probably wake up, but it'll be okay. Um, so we preheated the oven to 375 and we're going to get some dairy free butter. Oh, I hear it. I'll be right back. So the butter softened. I'll just let it sit for about 10, I don't know, probably about 15, 20 minutes. So I had to get Jackson's lunch ready, but, um, we're going to take two thirds of a cup of organic cane sugar. And we're going to whisk this together. So I added one egg to the mixture and then I'm going to whisk in one teaspoon of vanilla extract and just mix it all together. Now I'm adding in three fourths of a teaspoon of baking powder and then one fourth teaspoon of sea salt and whisking that into the mixture. Now I have added one third cup of cornstarch and then one and two thirds cup of gluten free flour. I'm using the Great Value brand. Jingle bell time is a swell time to go gliding in the one horse lane. After mixing the flours together, I'm going to add one tablespoon of unsweetened original almond milk. I am going to end up adding a little bit more. I'm just eyeing it after just to make the mixture not so dry and crumbly. So if you try this and feel like you need to add more, then go ahead and do it. So the dough has been in the fridge. It was supposed to be 15 minutes, but it's been like 20 because um, I was on the phone. But just got it out. Feels like cookie dough. And it tastes good, even though sh you shouldn't eat raw eggs, but it's okay. Um, so I'm going to try to cut these out. I'll probably make some just regular cookies. And then we have icing to decorate when they come back out. So. <laughs>
I'm truly an artist, honestly. He's struggling, but I only had four colors to work with. I just got like writing frosting or whatever from Walmart. Doesn't have dairy in it, by the way. Um, that was supposed to be a Santa hat, but it looks more like an elf hat. So we're gonna go with the elf hat. Stocking, Christmas tree, Jimmy, and he's struggling, bless his heart. So I hope you guys yeah. enjoyed this video. Oh. If you try the recipe, it is linked down below. So if you try it, let me know and send me pictures. Hey. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Hey. Bye.